Uh, hello, this is Lucas and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you how we can uh, set up JavaFX into uh, Eclipse. So let's get started. So the very first thing we need to do is we need to go to help uh, Eclipse Marketplace. Now we want to install, um, I have it already installed, so if we go to installed, I'll tell you exactly which one. So we need to uh, install EFX Clips. All right, so I already have it installed, so I'm not going to do that. But you can just you can just search it in here and then just click install. So once we once we you have done that, we need to uh, download the JavaFX uh, jar files. So if you go to JavaFX, all right, and we should have an option to download. Uh, don't mind this very first option, the roadmap. Go down to downloads, and just pick the OS that you're using. And then the one that you want to download is is the SDK. If you don't really care about JMods or Monocle SDK, download SDK. All right, and then just press on download, and that will finish up download. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Window Preferences, and you wanna go. So it'll be under Java Build Path, and then User Libraries, or you can just search in User Libraries up here. I already have. Uh, the library you created, but I'm just gonna create it again. So if we got the new, and then we can just give it any name. So I'll just name it JavaFX. Press OK. Now we're, we're gonna add external jars. Now with the file that we just downloaded, so this is the folder that we downloaded. If you go to lib, all right, for our libraries, and then if you select all these jar files, click on open, it will import all those jars to this library or to this library that we created, and then just click apply and close. That's about it. We have created our uh, library for JavaFX. What we can do now is we can actually create a project. So if you go to File, New, and if, there, if if there's no option to create a JavaFX project here, what we can do, go to Other, then it'll be under JavaFX, and we can create a JavaFX project. Next, give it any name. So I'll just do, um, I'll just name a project. All right, click on Finish. And this will create a new folder. Now you can see, whenever we create um, a project, we have a couple of errors. So if you go to here, okay, we have a few errors. The so we're gonna be resolving them now. So the first thing that I want to do is this this module info Java. We don't need this, right? So just delete that. That's the first thing that causes issues for me, All right? So once you've done that, let's right click on the project, go to build path, and go to configure build path. And then, yeah, then we're, we're going to have to go to libraries. Now, what, what we're going to have to do is click on class path. All right. Make sure it's class path, not module path. All right. So click on class path. Uh, we're we're going to have to add libraries, user libraries, and then just select the library that we just created. So JavaFX finish. And there you go. We have uh, placed that in here. All right. Now you can see the errors do go away. However, it we will it will not run still yeah you can see we are getting uh, an error which is fine. If we right click on the project again, go to uh, run configurations. All right now we are in here. Now there's a couple of things that we need to do in here. All right the very first thing is if we go to arguments, we we need to provide some um, VM arguments. So for me, it will be this one right here. All right, you can find this in the description, but Basically, copy this in, except replace uh, the path to the to the path of the library uh, files that you have just downloaded. Okay, and then we can just click apply, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to dependencies in here. Oh, you can see it by default, uh, JavaFX is in ClassPath, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this from uh, ClassPath, and then click on module path en uh, entries. Go to advanced, add library, right? Press OK, use a library, and then click JavaFX so it'll be added in the module entries instead of the class path entries. Click on apply, click on run, and you will successfully be able to run your JavaFX uh, uh, project. So I hope this video helped. I hope you find it useful, and I hope it actually helped you. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace out.